I do wear this big shark tooth for every video. From Lyndon, AKA the Game Shark. This is a prehistoric giant Mako shark tooth. I don't know, is there anything cooler than that? That's pretty freaking cool. Okay, wow, look at that. Look at that. So cool, okay, awesome. Look at that. <laughs> he sent me a giant Mako shark necklace. You're awesome, man. This is so cool. And in fact, I've got a certain game shark circling the waters for this stuff lately, so it may not last very long in my possession. Oh, hey, what's going on? Glad you stopped by to hang out with me for a few minutes today. Well, I've got a couple of trades here I'm going to show you. And you're not going to believe this. Oh, man. This is going to take a few minutes. So this is a special occasion. Trying to break out something special here. If the game shark is on a feeding frenzy, This is my special shark tooth necklace. <laughs> I had my wife make me this. Told her I wanted a necklace with the shark teeth stuck out with several on it going up. Something real tacky. Looked like a witch doctor. This is what she came up with. <laughs> I get to wear it every once in a while to the museum, to the fossil museum. When they have uh, big events down there, I'll wear it. A Jimmy Buffett concert <laughs> or something like that. I don't wear it out to eat dinner. <laughs> so let's get into these trades here. First I got one that I made with Josh Moore over at Play More Games. I'll leave the link to his channel and the link to the video or see what I sent him. First I got Lagoon for the Super Nintendo. A little RPG there. I've never played that. I always thought it looked pretty cool. We'll give it a shot. Also I got Revenge of Shinobi for the Sega Genesis. That's going to be cool. Can't wait to play that. And of course, he threw some stuff in. <laughs> I got Josh Moore. <laughs> threw in Arcade Classics for the Sega Genesis. And Tiny Toons. Bab's Big Break for the Game Boy. That's cool, man. Thank you so much. You're too kind. I've got to pay you back for that. <laughs> So now on to the big trade with none other than Kinda Cool. And Jason and I have made a big trade before. I traded him a sealed PS2 game and Silent Hill 2 for the Turbo Graphics 16 with the EverDrive. Man, I'm really loving that thing. And we've outdone ourselves on this one. <laughs> this one is on par with the famous Gun Knack trade, I believe. Definitely the most items that's gone in a trade. Jason, I counted this up. <laughs> I think it was either 94 or 95 items. We should have went for just a few more to get 100. <laughs> but let me tell you how this started. One day I come home and I seen on the Discord that Jason had put on there, he had a Retron 77 that he was looking to flip. If anybody on the Discord or the trade group wanted it first, he would let us have it. And it had been up for a couple of hours and I seen it and nobody had said anything. I thought, yeah, you know what? I could use a Retron 77. That'd make it a lot easier for me to do gameplay videos for the Atari 2600. So I hit him up and I said, yeah, man, I, I kind of like to have that. 
So we, got, we started talking. He asked me if I was still collecting for the Atari 2600. Like, Hang on, let me, let me check. Yeah, I'm alive. Yeah, I'm collecting for the 2600. And you're not going to believe what he did to me. <laughs> John Engel, you're going to want to sit down. He starts sending me picture after picture of boxes full of rare and weird Atari games. <laughs> and I'm over here just like, no, make it stop, make it stop. <laughs> well, I had to have him. I'm like, well, let me go over here and start finding some stuff for him. <laughs> So I was able to come up with some good trades for him, and man, I've got a ton of Atari games here to show you. Some stuff I've never seen before, never heard of, some, some rare stuff that I have seen before, and but never out in the wild, or really even on eBay or sell online. How in the world he come across such a variety of Atari 2600 games is beyond me. <laughs> Somebody had a heck of a collection. I think he got it on Craigslist. So first, of course, I got the Retron 77. That's going to help a lot. Should have some gameplay videos coming soon with some of these 2600 games. Actually thinking about a weekly show or something. I don't know. And he threw in this retro controller that come with it. Looks very similar to the old Atari joystick. Feels a whole lot better. It has two buttons on it. And also, he threw in this controller. I don't know much about this. He told me and I have forgotten. I don't know if it come with the Retron or something you buy that can be played with it. Or for something new made for the 2600. Cool feeling controller here. It's got an analog stick on it. The one button. And it also has a little spinner up here for the paddle games. And he said this works really good. So can't wait to try that. Get some kaboom going. <laughs> Oh boy, are you ready? All right, here we go. First of all, got a strange shaped cart here called Amador. <laughs> and I have another one shaped like this, that is Popeye. Yeah, I don't see the name of the company on here. That's cool looking. I've got one here from Sega called Tax Scan. It says Sega right down there at the bottom of the logo and actually has Sega on the back of the cart. There, I got a good shot of it. <laughs> That's cool. Can't wait to play that. Got one here from VidTech. I seem like I got a couple more of theirs. This one's called Word Zapper. <laughs> I don't know. Never even heard of that one. Uh, here's one of the telegames, Skydiver, with the black label there. I've got a bunch like that. And here's one, I've never seen one shaped like this, from SpectraVision, it's called Planet Patrol. Never heard of that, never seen a cartridge for the 2600 shaped like this. And it says, I'll try to get it, SpectraVision on the back there. <laughs> never seen anything like that. So here we've got a couple from Coleco. These cream colored games. I've got a couple of those. I think Carnival or something. Here's Mousetrap and Venture. For use with the Atari VCS and Sears Video Arcade. Now how is that possible? The Sears Video Arcade is an Intellivision. And they have a completely different board on the bottom. The one for the Intellivision games is a lot wider than the Atari games. How does it play both? Got a couple here from Apollo. Never heard of these, never even seen these before. One called Infiltrate, and one called Lost Luggage. <laughs> and again, another one with the company name on the back. Put some grooves around it. Now I've got a couple shaped like this. Looks like it's Data AES or something. I don't remember what it is, but I've got. Man, it takes too long to find it. This one's called Encounter at L5 and Bermuda Triangle. 
You can see those are kind of odd shaped, angled on the end there where the end label is. <laughs> Got a couple here from a company I've never heard of. I've never seen these, never heard of these games. Telesis? I don't know. Here's one called Coconuts <laughs> and Cosmic Creeps. <laughs> I have no idea. Never even heard of those. And here's some of these in television games with the adapter on it. So the Sears Video Arcade will play Atari games, but the Atari will not play in television games. But the Intellivision, or the Sears Video Arcade isn't in television. And the television has an adapter for the 2600 games. But, yeah, never mind. Good Lord. <laughs> so here's one called Dark Cavern. These in television games with this thing on the bottom of them. They don't have labels. Of course, in television games, don't. Here's one called Armor Ambush. <laughs> so here's three from CBS Video Games. Really? Never heard of any of them. Well, I have heard of one of them. Here's one called Gorf. Looks like it's got four different modes of play on it. Can't wait to see what that is. Now, I've heard of this before. Wizard of War. Never seen this cartridge before for the Atari 2600. Look, it's got a handful of different games on it. And here's one called Solar Fox. I have no idea. <laughs> Alright, so I got a handful from US Games here. I, I only have one of these. I have one called Name This Game. And it's shaped weird like this one here. So here's one called Entombed. If I can get this, look at the odd shape on the end of that, how it hooks up like that. And then the, where the label is, is angled back up. The other one I have is shaped like that, the name this game. Well then here's some more from them that are square. With a little gripper on the side there, I guess, I don't know. Never heard of any of these. So here's one called Gopher. Ego Mania, Squeeze Box, <laughs> and Commando Raid. <laughs> so here I got a stack from 20th Century Fox. Now these are similar to the Activision games. They got grooves down the side at the front there. And they have that cool little slot on the top and the bottom. Well, this one sticks up and there's a slot on the bottom. When you stack them on top of each other, they lock together. Activision games do that too. So here I got one called Fantastic Voyage. I've heard of this one. Turmoil. Never heard of this. Megaforce. Definitely never heard of this. Beanie Bopper? Huh? <laughs> Never heard of this either. Deadly Duck. <laughs> Here's one called Worm War One. I don't know. <laughs> I have heard of this one. This one's called Fast Freddy. I think our friend over at You Really Play That has done a review on this one. If you want to see some good 2600 reviews, go check him out. That's, you really play that. He does a lot of great reviews on, gosh, all kinds of systems over there. So here I got some games from Imagic. And these are real cool. I have a couple of these. Uh, Dragonfire and something else. Maybe a Journey, Escape or something. So these have got a cool silver label on them. And these are shaped weird on the end. they got a little lip that sticks out. And the name label is kind of reset back into there. So you grab it by this little piece here and pull it out. So you're not messing up the label. And this is printed on a silver Mylar poly label. Which is much better than all the other Atari 2600 labels that dry out and come off and peel and fade and crack. They have no UV coating on them. So here we got Cosmic Arc. 
you ever seen this firefighter shooting gallery wait was there a gun for the 2600 <laughs> there's one called Atlantis laser gates and solar storm <laughs> Uh, the two that I have from a magic that are shaped like that, man, they're good. That uh, Dragonfire game is fun. It's hard, though. So here we have some of these silver label Atari games. They come from Atari. And most of your silver label games are arcade ports. There are some that are not. Of course, Pac-Man, of course, is not. But a lot of them look like this. So here's Joust. Battle Zone. Centipede, Pole Position, <laughs> Millipede, Moon Patrol, Stargate, <laughs> and Taz. Didn't know there was a Tasmanian Devil game for the 2600. And then here's some more games from Atari uh, with the more common uh, black labels. You see a lot of these. I know Combat looks like this. So here's Defender, Human Cannonball, Surround, Circus Atari, <laughs> Canyon Bomber. Space War, <laughs> a lot of space games for the 2600. <coughs> Maze Craze, and then here's some of the red label Atari games. Looks like these were later in the 80s, some of their later games. Never heard of this. Here's one called Off the Wall. Cool art on these. Of course, most of them do have cool art. Here's one called Midnight Magic. Just from the cover, it looks to be a pinball game. <laughs> Sprint Master. It's a racing game. I'm going to like that. And here's one called Radar Lock. Never heard of that either. <laughs> so many of these I've just never seen before. There's still more. We haven't even got to Activision yet. The king of Atari games. Check out the... This day. <laughs> and again, like I was saying with the Fox games, these lock together when you stack them on top of each other. That's pretty cool. Okay. We got Frostbite. Fishing Derby. Sky Jinx. <laughs> Robot Tank. And check this one out. I've never seen this and never seen a label like this on an Activision game. Most of them are pretty uniform. There's one called Private Eye. Never heard of that. And of course, River Raid. And here's one my wife is really going to like. I was pretty excited to get this. I have heard of this before and seen this. My wife's a dental hygienist. So of course she's going to like Plaque Attack. <laughs> Can't wait to play that with her. That'll be pretty fun. There's Crackpots. Chopper Command. <laughs> Pressure Cooker. Never heard of that before. Spider Fighter. You know, man, that's one of your husbandly duties. You gotta kill spiders. <laughs> Of course, Dragster. Never had this one before. Of course, I know what this is. Never run across that in the wild. And here's, let's say this one for last. Here's one I have seen. Uh, another one that you really play that has covered. Keystone Capers. And here's one called Decathlon. I imagine it's got Olympic track games on it. There's skiing. Oh, 
Oh, here's one I remember from when I was a kid. I, I've been wanting this one for a while and just never seen it. Boxing. <laughs> Loved this as a kid. My neighbor down the street had a 2600. Used to go out there and play it all the time with him. Before I ever got my Tandy Color computer. Loved playing boxing. I can't wait to play that again. And here's one called Laser Blast. <laughs> And then here's one I've never heard of, Mega Mania. And of course, I remember this one too. My neighbor had this one, tennis. <laughs> I remember it being pretty fun back then. Of course, we were little kids playing a video game at home that didn't cost quarters. <laughs> so of course, it was fun. So here's one that's, I don't know if that this was a top one, but I've seen this before and I know it's hard to get, hard to find, and got a little price to it, especially for 2600 games. From Activision, Beam Rider. <laughs> yeah, this is a cool looking game. I can't wait to play this. Whew. Well, there you go. I know I didn't spend much time on in, any individual one. <laughs> We'd have been here forever. <laughs> so thanks to Kinda Cool, I'll leave a a link to his channel. I'll probably have my video up before his, so if you're seeing this in the future, I'm going to try to go back and put the link to the video he does to see, so you can see what he got from me for all this. So thank you again, Jason. Appreciate all this. This has been a fun trade. I cannot wait to get into these. You know how much I love the 2600. That's, man, one of my favorite systems to collect for. Now, where am I going to put all these games? Golly, I have to rearrange the game room again. Oh well. Thanks for stopping by to hang out with me for a few minutes today. I'll see you next time.